वेलकम बैक माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट वी आर डीलिंग सेपरेट सेपरेशन टेक्निक्स इन दैट वी सीन योर प्रेशन सेपरेशन बाय योर प्रेशन मेथड एंड आफ्टर दैट वी सीन अबाउट द सेंट्रिफिकेशन मेथड टुडे वी आर डीलिंग सेपरेशन बाय सेपरेटिंग फनेल एंड आफ्टर दैट सब्लिमेशन सो वन बाय वन वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज Separating funnel. Okay, this method is used for separating mixtures, liquid-liquid mixtures which are immiscible. First, we will try to know that what is miscible liquid and what is immiscible liquids. Miscible liquids means those liquids mixed together in all proportions. Those liquids mixed together in all proportion and form a single layer. Single layer are called miscible liquids. Okay, those liquids mix together uniformly and form a single layer. That liquids are known as miscible liquids. Immiscible liquids means those liquids are not mixed together uniformly and forms separate boundaries, separation boundaries. That process is known as immiscible liquids. Okay, so this technique, this separating. Funnel technique is used for the immiscible liquids only. So what is it? Is a separating funnel is used for the separation of components of mixture between two immiscible liquids. I hope that you understood about immiscible liquids. Those liquids not mixed uniformly and they are giving separation boundaries into it. Okay, that that liquids that mixtures is known as immiscible liquids. So immiscible liquid phases. One phase is the aqueous phase. One phase is aqueous phase, and other phase is an organic solvent. Okay. This separation is based on the difference in the density. Densities. You know that whenever the density is low, then this liquid or that substance will flow on the another substance. Okay. So it is this technique is depend on the principle of this technique. Upon the on to the densities. Okay, so if the density if the density is lighter, the it will goes on top, and if the density is low, it will leave at bottom. Okay, we will see with the help of activity also. Don't care about it. Okay, so density density is we know the formula of density mass upon value. So density is of the liquids. The liquid having more density forms the layer forms the lower layer. If liquid having more density, if its this density is more, then it form the lower layer that is our aqueous layer or organic layer can identify in this such mixtures. Okay, but in case of uh, mixtures, in case of solid, sorry, uh, acid bases, phenolic mixtures are there. We can say that aqueous liquid or organic liquids, and the liquid having less density. Forms the upper layer. This technique is depend on the densities of the liquid. Okay, those having more density it will flow. Forms which layer? Lower layer, this bottom layer. And the liquid having less density forms the upper layer. Okay. So, what is the application of this method to separate a mixture of oil and water? To separate. Mixture of oil and water, and second application of this method is to separate a mixture of kerosene and water. So we will see activity for this separating funnel. So we having we having this is this apparatus is known as separating funnel, which is used to separate the immiscible liquids. Okay. So this is stand. These are the beakers. Okay. So This one is water and this is kerosene. We know that water and kerosene having different different densities. So we will see which layer having low density, which which liquid having more density. We know that if the liquid having more density, then it will form lower layer.
first we will mix it properly keep it for some time after some time it forms two layers one is aqueous layer and another one is that is organic layer okay so we can say that there are two layers are going to be formed so if the liquid having more density it will form lower layer if the liquid having low density it will form upper layer okay are you going to visible that are you going to see that two layers bottom layer is water layer okay so we can say that water having more density than kerosene due to this reason this kerosene is going to be float on this water i hope that you are understanding so we will going to be separated it means that this this separating funnel is used to separate this two density immiscible liquids okay so what will happen lower layer will collect into the another beaker so what is immiscible liquids those mixing those liquids are not mixing together uniformly and forming a separate bond that liquids are called as immiscible liquids okay so we separate water from kerosene with the help of separating funnel in one beaker we collected water and another beaker we are going to collect in kerosene in this way we are going to separate this two immiscible liquids by the help of separating funnel i hope that you understood now we will see about sublimation so what is sublimation sublimation is a process where a solid changes from a solid to a vapor without passing through the liquid state it means that whenever we are keeping solid what is sublimation sublimation means solids directly going to be changed into the vapor phase okay it is not going into the liquid state or vice versa it is called sublimation okay so sublimation process is depending on the process of conversion of solid substance directly into the vapor on heating and vapors into the should vapors into solid on cooling is called sublimation okay so i hope that you understood about sublimation so what are the application of sublimation there are application four applications of sublimation first one is the main the main advantage of sublimation for a purification process it is used for a purification process the minimum second one is the minimum amount of product is lost by this method sublimation method the product will is minimum amount will be lost okay third one is solvents are not used fourth one is most traces of any solvent in compounds are effectively eliminated when next one is when the substance when less than 100 g the best method for purification is sublimation in this sublimation there are two kinds of substances are going to be used okay one is volatile and another one is non volatile it which is called sublimate okay sublime substance for the example we have in camphor is also sublime substance ammonium chloride also sublime substance uh ether ether it is also sublimable alcohol it is also sublimable these are the examples of sublimation okay so we will see the activity regarding with this sublimation for this sublimation we required this is called evaporating dish or you can call it china dish this is wire box tripod stand candle funnel for this i am using non volatile substance that is chalk powder and volatile i am using here ammonium
chloride. So what we have to do? First we have to mix this both into the evaporating dish. Okay. Mix it properly. After mixing, by inverting it we have to keep separating funnel. On this top of the, we have to cover this china dish. And after that we have to light it. Fire it. What happened actually, the principle is used here that is one substance is going to be sublimate and another one is going to be remain into the china dish. Okay. So the principle using here, the crude mixture of substance is heated in an evaporating dish covered with a, with a profitable sheet on the which, which an invented funnel is based. On heating the vapors of the sublimable substance rises up and gets condensed on the cooler walls. Okay. Of the funnel, one of the constituent substance which does not sublime remains as a residue in the evaporating dish. The condensed papers may be scrap of all from inner walls of the funnel. By providing heat, what will happen is ammonium chloride gets converts into the from the solids to the directly into the vapor phase. And this vapor is being collected on this wall of the funnel. And chalk powder will remain as it is into the evaporating dish. In this way, we can separate these two mixtures. One is sublimable and one is non-sublimable mixture. We can separate with the sublimation process. And we have the advantages of this sublimation process. Main advantage is this. It is used for purification process. First, we see that minimum amount of product is lost. Third one, we are not going to be used any solvent into it. See, vapors are going to be produced into the funnel. I hope that you have seen it. We are going to be visible. In it. This both activity we can see with the help of AB also. So you will get more clear about separating funnel, separation method of by using separating funnel and sublimation process. It takes time. See on the wall of this funnel, they are going to be visible. Some vapors are going to be gathered on the wall of funnel. Okay, when we are going to be see very few. So in this way. We don't have so much time, that's why we are just stopping these things. We will see with the help of AB also these two methods. So let's watch these both AVs. First, we will see separation method by using separating funnel. So we will get more clear about this. Separating funnel. We already know about the evaporation and centrifugation, the two important methods of separating the components. 
There are several other important techniques for separating the components from several types of mixture. Can you tell how can we separate a mixture of two immiscible liquids? They can be separated by using separating funnel. But what actually are immiscible liquids? When the liquid does not dissolve in each other are called immiscible liquids such as mixture of oil and water are good example of immiscible liquid and a heterogeneous mixture are separated by separating funnel. Now, let's understand the principle behind the separation of two immiscible liquids. The principle is behind that it is used to separate the components from a mixture of two immiscible liquids such as mixture of oil and water in a mixture of two immiscible liquids lighter one and heavier one form separate layers this totally depends upon the densities of the two liquids now let's understand this method by the help of an activity so the materials required for this activity are separating funnel iron stamp beaker now let's do this activity through these materials let us try to separate kerosene oil from water using a separating funnel pour the mixture of kerosene oil and water in a separating funnel clamp the separating funnel on an iron stand and allow it to stand for some time open the stop cock of the separating funnel and pour out the lower layer of water carefully and collect the water in a beaker close the stop cock of the separating funnel as the oil reaches the stop cock and left behind in the separating flask now Let's discuss about the application of separating funnel. To separate mixture of oil and water. In the extraction of iron from its ore, the lightest slag is removed from the top by this method to leave the molten iron at the bottom in the furnace. Certain materials such as camphor change their state from solid to gas without changing the liquid first. This is known as sublimation. Let us see sublimation in a mixture. For this we need crushed chalk powder, crushed ammonium chloride, a funnel with cotton plunge to the stem, evaporating dish and spirit lamp. Mix the ammonium chloride and chalk powder and put it in the evaporating dish. Now place an inverted funnel over the china dish. Heat the mixture. After some time, ammonium chloride sublimates, that is, changes its state directly from solid to gas, so it gets vaporized when chalk powder remains in the dish. Sublimation is an endothermic change where a substance vaporizes directly from the solid to the gaseous state without passing through an intermediate liquid phase. In this case, not only did we see sublimation, but we also saw how sublimation helps to separate mixtures. Try and find out substances that sublimate. In this way, we seen about sublimation and separation by using separating funnel. I hope that you understood. Thank you and have a nice day.